Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to share with you all my biggest regret around quitting the vegan diet that I was on for around six years, which most people that are gonna be watching this video are gonna know what I'm talking about, but for certain people that don't, you can watch my video where I talk about this in more detail, which is linked up above. So if you haven't seen that and you don't know, make sure you go and check that out now. But for people that do, know about this. Wow, yeah, I was just thinking to myself yesterday, what is my biggest regret around quitting the vegan diet? Is it that it was one of the biggest mistakes that I made? Was it a really bad decision to actually go back to meat and other animal-based foods? Am I feeling really bad about contributing to animals' lives being ended for then their flesh to be provided on my plate? Or is there some other biggest regret? Hmm. Well, when I thought about this in depth, yeah, my biggest regret is that I didn't quit sooner. That I made myself suffer for way longer than was really necessary for me to do so. But as we know just with many other vegans out there, just like I used to be when I was a vegan, I was very brainwashed. And I believed that a vegan diet was the healthiest diet for myself and every single person on the planet. Everyone should be eating this way and it's the best thing for the animals, the environment, which is just a load of garbage, which I started to learn after switching back to animal foods and doing a lot of research into these specific subjects to actually see that a lot of the information that vegans spread out there about it being the best diet for people, the environment and the animals, a lot of it's based on pseudoscience or misinformation or just dogma or just uh, other certain things that are just not real truths, to be honest. It's just preachers out there that are vegans, that are idealistic and very evangelistic, that just want to spread their vegan agenda and get so many people to get on to a vegan diet and lifestyle due to the reasons that I've just mentioned and many other reasons as well. And yeah, as a lot of people would know, is for around three months leading up to me quitting the vegan diet, I had almost no energy to do anything in my life. It ruined my mental health, it ruined my digestion where I was getting gas and bloating with whatever plant foods that I was eating. It was just making me suffer from the inside out. It was affecting my relationships in a negative way, my whole human experience. And it was just absolutely horrible to go through and to put myself through that. But yeah, I believed that it wasn't the vegan diet that was messing me up. I thought it was this thing or this thing or that. Just as many other vegans that are not thriving on a vegan diet, they tend to not blame the diet because they think it's the best diet in the world, the healthiest diet for themselves. And they tend to just blame many other different things. But it was so good that I did wake up in the end and start making the switch back to animal foods so I could regain my health and start feeling optimal in my mind and body holistically. And it was absolutely crazy because even when I thought that I was feeling the best on a vegan diet and thriving, I wasn't, which I'll talk about that more in another video, which I'll link up above. But once I went back to animal foods, which I've been eating them for around two months now, oh my God, where I'm at with my health is the best that I've ever felt in my life. And my energy levels are the best they've ever been. And just everything is just at the most optimal level possible. And I just see this with so many other vegans out there. They are just surviving on a vegan diet. They are not thriving, they're deteriorating at such a rapid rate when they start to do it long term because it's a malnourishing diet that is not sustainable long term. And I had seen so many of my vegan family members do the same as me. They had been not feeling good on a vegan diet for many, many years, even longer than I had been because I'd only been feeling my worst for around three months on a vegan diet leading up to me quitting but I had certain family members that have been feeling awful for years and years and years and not just feeling good in any way, shape or form. 
and they would try taking this supplement, getting this blood test done, trying to correct this nutritional deficiency and just do this thing and that thing and that thing and nothing was working. Sometimes they would work a little bit of things they'd try but they'd always hit up against the wall again and they'd never get any significant improvements where they start to resolve all the issues they are having on a vegan diet. And as I talked about in a video recently, I'll also link up above, so many of my vegan family members are also suffering as well on a vegan diet, have made the switch back to animal foods and started to regain their health where they feel so vital and so alive and they just start to actually get the nutrients they've been lacking for so long that they're not me getting on a vegan diet. But they found it very hard to switch. I found it very hard to switch because I didn't want to contribute to animals' lives being ended and then being harmed in any way whatsoever. But guess what? A lion, for example, or a tiger, they don't feel bad when they go and eat another animal in any way, shape or form. So why should we feel bad? If you look at like tribal people, do they feel bad about it? No, not whatsoever. And we are designed to eat meat and other animal foods. We've been eating them for well over a million years and it gives us certain things that are almost non-existent on a vegan diet or very hard to get. So I hope this video can really wake some other vegans up that are maybe not thriving. I've had so many people switch due to me voicing my own personal story of switching from a vegan diet to a non-vegan diet and it resolved my issues. So many vegans have listened to me that have been also suffering as well and they've made the switch as well. But there are just so many vegans that just wanna hold on to that vegan diet due to one reason or another. And it is a very unself-loving thing to actually eat a diet that is harming you and affecting your whole human experience in such a negative way. We all deserve to feel the best and function the best and be free from sickness and disease and have optimal digestion and just have the best mood possible and mental health and cognitive functions as well. So yeah, if I'd actually known what I know now where I have actually become aware from making the dietary switch that now how I eat is actually the best diet for me, that is the most balanced diet, that gives me the most varied nutrition possible for me to feel the best. If I'd known it was gonna make me feel so amazing once I've made this switch away from a vegan diet, I would have quit way, way, way sooner. But at the time, I just believed that all animal foods are bad for you due to so much vegan programming and brainwashing that I'd received from so many vegan preachers out there. But yeah, it was good that I did go through it because in the end I did wake up to the reality that is not a sustainable diet. And then I've been able to share my story online through this YouTube channel and so many people have listened to me and so many people have got off the, the vegan diet where they've been suffering and they started to just feel the best that they can feel as I mentioned earlier on. So I'm just trying to do my best to share my own personal truth with my dietary switch. And if you look into it, how many people this year, well, last year, because we're in the new year now, have quit a vegan diet, they've been on it long term, like so many people in an absolute abundance. And there was even some scientific research to show it, around 85% of vegans and vegetarians actually go back to meat and other animal foods. And there's a very good reason as to why. It wasn't because they did it wrong, unlike what a lot of vegans out there that will say to people that have quit the vegan diet due to not feeling good on it. It's just a malnourishing, deteriorating diet that we're just not designed to eat. Just exclusively plant-based foods for the rest of our lives. I'm not one of these really extreme, like dogmatic carnivore-based people out there that say all plant foods are bad and toxic. Yes, yeah, certain ones are for certain people, certain ones aren't for other people. Certain people feel good from certain plant foods. Some people do better on an omnivore diet than a carnivore diet. So it's all just about listening to you and not becoming dogmatic on any diet. So yeah, make sure that if you know anyone else that's suffering a vegan diet, please share this video with them because maybe this will give them a wake up call to make the switch back to an animal-based diet that's actually got high quality animal-based foods in because all the meat that I eat comes from a source where the animals are actually free roaming 
outside, they're not in cages whatsoever, they're not given antibiotics or synthetic hormones or any other chemicals whatsoever, they're fed a natural diet, no GMOs, no corn, no soy, no grains, and it is the most highest quality meats you can buy in the world. And I live in Thailand, if you wanna check out the company that I get to deliver it to me in Thailand, they deliver anywhere in Thailand, I'll put a link down below for them, and if you order with them, use the discount code, you will get a significant discount off your first order if you order over 2,000 bahts worth of foods on their website. So that's it from me in this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So make sure you enjoy the rest of your day like I'm going to and catch you on the flip side. Peace.